Is it possible to edit out your SSD drive? Let's find out today, okay? Now, I got the SSD plugged into my dongle and I have my SSD SD card right here everything in there, then I just plug into my this is USB uh, C, okay? Connection so Let me do a screen recording What I did just then was for me to synchronize my all my files together so I have my screenshot going and I have my external recorder right here it's an external uh, lovely mic I have row video mic and I, up here I have my main microphone pointing down to my main camera over there so that's my setup right now I'm just sitting next to the window window lighting coming from the side uh, and it's, you know, beautiful face white balance I set it to shade so you know I look a bit you know, <laughs> brownish yellowish if you want to call it that way okay now let's go to our file okay okay Lumix there so so Lumix and my T5 okay A few days ago, I was playing around with the iPad and I could not see the SSD on my iPad. The reason was I went to the... I looked through the iPad, through the fourth, the, uh, the uh, photos, okay? Then you could not see your iPad. I said, what, what the heck? What, what's going on? Okay, you can see it here, right? You can see Lumix, your SSD, but you can't see your hard drive, your SSD, anywhere else. But I found out they gotta go to your file, your file. Okay, then it's all there. Come on, Apple, what's going on? Yeah, I think Apple want to for the photos. They want to push every media in there to the clouds okay that's what they will try to push in a way but you know we, we don't want to be you know, apple slave <laughs> okay so reason why you want to add, edit out this ssd is because the ipad memory capacity is limited uh, if you want more you have to uh, download or upload your footage down from the cloud but I don't want to go through that route I want to ex have my footage here with me all the time so I can edit upload to my destination my final destination which is like YouTube for you guys so that's the number one reason why I edit my photos videos out of external hard drive uh, nowadays it's getting really cheap so you know it's possible okay too much talking right let me let me import it in so from Lumix DCM Panasonic yesterday photos okay select gotta press select in your machine unbelievable you can't do it straight away okay more copy then go to T, T5 Samsung T5 then I'll make a new file the other way you just basically to just import straight to the photos from your to your iPad but yeah you know, that's the hard way to do it <laughs> what I'm trying to find out is could you possibly import get your photos from your SD card to your hard drive without going through the iPad so basically a normal copy and paste kind of thing can, can the Apple iPad Air here that I have do it new folder there you go 
take some time, okay? <laughs> take some time for the iPad. Come on, Apple. Okay, let's see. Balinese. Balinese. Sarong. To, to. How to. Done. Balinese. There you go. And what do I want to do? Copy. Okay. That's what I want to copy. Got to wait. Yeah. So, the process of getting, I'm come from Windows guys, okay, so the process is not very straightforward. <laughs> From a window guy, it's just too complicated, yeah. But uh, if you're a Mac user for a while, you have, you know, you might use to it. But for me, it gets too complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just got my, I'm just, just trying to copy it in right now. Uh, there's no progress bar or anything. I think it's done. Uh, yeah, so I got my from SD, SD card. SD card. Copy it to my hard drive. SSD. Now, can I open and use Luma Fusion and edit everything out of this SSD? Let's find out. So let's fire up uh, Luma Fusion. Yeah, I got a project going, and if I unplug it, it it would disconnect, of course. Okay, so I just reconnect the SSD, and the answer is yes, you can edit. <laughs> I just did a project just then, so that's why I had all my project here, as I did before. But I now unplug the external hard drive, but could I possibly go back to Lumen Fusion? Okay, and reconnect and edit the answer is too complicated how come it's not let me have a look haven't tested this out guys so yeah what you're seeing is what i'm doing okay i try to figure it out on the fly okay i gotta got work out this somehow okay but so far it doesn't work off the bat like that okay let me move on otherwise i'll keep rumbling on and try to figure it out <laughs> Okay, now, now let me start a new project and see what happens. Start a new project. Okay. Short. Uh, YouTube. Aspect ratio. Now, I just make a uh, YouTube short project, okay? So it's vertical. So that's what you've got to do first before you actually uh, can, uh, you want to make YouTube short. Let's make it my Samsung. Where is my file? Okay. In Bloom of Fusion, you've got to add a link to folder, okay? So you go to your file. Let's import or you go to your file. Now add link to the folder. So then you spring out your the SSD or my file. Okay, so by on this how to. Okay, done. And we'll bring in the the footage by on this there. Okay. Now the footage is there, let's play. It is it is a bit slower, I think. So let's see the edit experience, how, how we normally would, would edit this, okay? Yeah, shop is good. So you can shop through. So cut. Make sure one. Okay. Cut somewhere there. Let it finish. I keep just keep he just keep talking. Cut there. 
and point in and I'm in short <laughs> YouTube short now I'm, I'm a bit out of uh, so let's do a reconfiguration so I'm in the middle somewhere there you go done and guys uh, this is 4k footage out of the SSD it's not the fastest SSD out there but uh, it's not the, the, the latest from Samsung okay this one here T5 but uh, it certainly can edit out of the box right there thanks for watching so far so certainly you can edit in from your SSD but once you connect uh, it will arrive but once you unplug it can you reconnect and that's probably another problem that I probably share with you guys how to fix in the next video or a few when I have the time to do it okay you try to sort it out uh, my name is Travis I'm, I'm a time lapse nurse if you think the video is useful for you please consider subscribing to my channel I'll make similar content like this for you guys to for help you guys become a better video editor better shooter